Hey, well, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, of course, with Mike Ramsey Fitness. Reactions on all, and I mean all, social media platforms. Not just some, not just a few, but all social media platforms. And we're here doing what we do, what we do here. And that is getting our racks together. That is about to break them off. Daniel, I got you covered. Our, our winners, our winner, winner chicken dinners from our drawings, got you covered. And um, I don't know the names of everybody that's ordered, but we got you covered, okay? That's why I'm in here working right now, enjoying the time with my son. Only three up the well, we got the two winners. No, I'm talking about orders, I'm talking about orders. Only three of them. Okay. All right, good. We caught up. I'm glad to hear we're caught up. on orders today. That's on orders today. All right, so we got a couple of things that are going on. I like to do research, which is crazy because I hated school. But I, okay. I like passing knowledge to people, okay? And so. We have people out there, and, and the talking heads too, okay? They keep talking about the salary cap, salary cap, Ar Ar Armageddon, and you know how the salary cap is going down. And I'm here to tell you that it's all bullshit, okay? It's all, I I've been saying this for a long time, and this is why what's going to happen is when we look at D-Law's contract two years from now, we're going to look and say that that's a bargain because T.J. Watt's going to get almost quarterback money. He's going to be in the upper 20s. Huh? Well, I'm just saying, no, just, just hear me out. But when D-Law got paid, it was like, oh, my God. You know, you can't pay a guy well, that much. It wasn't bad. It was because we waited so long to pay Okay, well, but, okay, be that as That's it may. But see, here's the thing. You know, we're, we're worried about, oh, my God, the sour cap might be 175. It might go up to 185 and all that, right, because of this year of COVID. You know, because 20% of the revenue that the NFL makes comes from gate revenues. And there were estimates a couple years ago that the NFL makes about $10 billion a year. Okay, salary cap. A couple of things. The NFL and the NFLPA redid their agreement this past year. In that, they increased the compensation up like 2% to 48% of the NFL players. will go to the NFL players. And the way they come up that number is they take gross receipts Everything that the NFL brought in, they divide that or multiply it by 0.48. That's the cut that goes to the players. Then you divide that by 32 teams, and that's what you get for the salary cap, right? So people keep uh, you know looking at that and going by things that have happened. See, like for example, when you looked at our draft, they haven't been counting the compensatory picks, but we have four compensatory picks that are coming. They'll say, oh, the Cowboys, they got six picks because they traded one to the Eagles and stuff like that. Yeah, but we got four more coming that you're not counting, but they're going to be there. A third, a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth. All right. So here's where I keep telling you that the salary cap is going to blow up because the television contract, right? Now, Mike, that, that's one part of the puzzle. Now, Mike, what did you put last night? Uh, you, you, Mike is turning into Jimmy the Greek. No, I had no. They gave me twenty dollars because they messed up on the late down belt, so I put it on. Wait, the but you mean they gave you additional twenty dollars? Yeah, free money. Free money. See, and like and, any and, crack and, and dealer, I six, I nine dollars on the Wizards. Like like any so crack dealer, a crack dealer will give you a taste to get you hooked on the product. No, I just, I just put the money uh, But 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 you get what have you gambled on so far? Super Bowl outcome. Super Bowl outcome, and now the Wizards, right? Because so, no, no, no. Because they gave me twenty dollars, and I had to use it before the fifteen. Okay. So, so I, had, I had to spend it regardless. So whether I win or lose, I mean, it's twenty-three dollars. All right. Okay. Cool. That, so, let's I see. Mean, that's not. That's not. That's not bad. So back to the salary cap. Gambling money is now part of NFL revenue. They get paid from this. And see, here's the thing. See, like the state of Virginia. Just ended up approving now yeah, FanDuel app, and stuff where you can start using the app. You can use the app now legally in like, you know, I think 
eight or nine states or something like that. And other ones are applying because they're looking at this and saying, hey, we can get some tax revenue off of that. The NFL is now pushing. You know how NFL now on NFL Network and ESPN, you've got shows dedicated to gambling, right? No, I'm just saying. You know, you and, and, and you can gamble on almost anything. They they had that that one, what was it the, the the bet with Lady on Bell? If he didn't get a touchdown, and he, if he didn't get a touchdown, but he had the, but the caveat was he had to at least catch one ball. Right. So he was like, oh, Lady on Bell. Okay, I'll yeah. take that bet. Like, but then after the game was like, oh, but he had to catch a pass. At least one. So we're gonna refund your money on it because the bet didn't happen because he didn't catch a pass. And that's better than losing your money. But I, I'm I'm sure before it's all over with. You know, when you look at a stadium like FedEx, you know, the, the Washington football, I bet you they will put bets on cockroach races because the place is full of cockroaches. I, I bet you they will. All right, so I've kind of gone away just to give you some background on it. So now, instead of having people who, you know, get, get revenue for people to go to the stadium, and FYI, FedEx field or, or the, the Washington football team applied for gambling at the stadium and it passed. Well, are they going to have that at this stadium? Or, or I, I don't know when they're going to. I'm sure they'll put it put it there as soon as COVID is over. Oh, well, yeah, because of the, the club section, they might have a section. Yeah, but, but, but regardless, it's actually one nice part here's of what stadium. I want you to know. I, I've done my research, okay? I like to educate people. So right now, they're estimating the NFL will make 2.3. I'm sorry, 3.2. I wrote it down. But isn't Jerry Wait, what, what, with, um, uh, yeah, but they're also they're also working with the state of Texas to try and get the apps there as well. That's where that, that article state. came out today. So Mark Cuban and, and Jerry Jones they're working with the state yeah, most trying states to legalize legal. that game. Most states is legal if you go to the casino, but it's not on the app. Right. So on the apps. Okay. So here's the thing. I did my math and did my research. So. $3.2 billion. Keep in mind, we're talking about the NFL being like a $10 billion a year business, right? So when you take $3 billion, that's a third right there. If you take $3.2 billion, multiply it by 48% because that's the player's cut. We're going to come up with the amount of money that's going to go on the cap. That equals to... One point five three six hundred million dollars. One point five three six hundred million dollars is the compensation that goes to the thirty-two teams to play the, the pay the players. You multiply that by forty-eight. I'm excuse me, excuse me, by 32, by 32, because that share, that $1.53 billion, or I should say $1.536 billion, that's how you say it, that gets divided up by 32 teams, $48 million, $48 million a year will come directly from gambling onto each team's salary cap. Currently, that's 25% of the salary cap. Over 25% if it's at 185. What's that? Helps, that's just like um, what is it, uh, fantasy football. It's going to help the NFL because you got money, you got stake in this game, you're going to watch, you watch that game. Exactly. You know, oh man, I got to bet on that game. To score, so, to, uh, and, and that's just. Score. That's what they're saying now. The NFL is going to blow up. Now, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to understand when that, that revenue kicks in, if that's part of this collective bargaining agreement or not, in which case it's going to be added to this year's. Um, but you see where it's going. He wasn't gambling before. Now, he's putting his money into it. Now, I uh, tried it before, but... Wasn't legal. Wasn't legal, but but now it's gonna. And I guarantee you, any state that's got a football team is gonna have the sports book gambling. It, 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 you know, they just are. If you're a state there, it's oh no, we've got morals. We're not gonna believe in gambling. It's like shit. Everybody else getting paid. Let's grab the revenue. You can gamble on college. You can gamble on college on football too. 
Well, but see, that doesn't help the NFL. I'm just saying. But, but I'm, I'm talking directly. Uh, the NCAA got more money than they need no, anyway. They but but you see what I'm saying yeah. here is when we talk about the salary cap and what's going down the line, and people are saying, oh, you can't put money down. If you renegotiate contracts, you're hampering yourself in the future. Dudes, I'm telling you, the, depending on where you look, I've seen estimates of the salary cap being about $350 million dollars in 2025, I've seen estimates as high as 470 million in 2027. We're going to look at this because I want you to understand. I believe it was six years ago, Drew Brees was the highest paid quarterback at 20 million dollars. Six years ago, you got 25 million dollars more right now with Pat Mahomes. Guaranteed, another five years, we'll be looking at quarterbacks that are getting $60 million a year. <laughs> Guaranteed. So, to recap, the salary cap situation that you're being fed is bullshit. Okay? Bullshit. They're going to have more money than they can shake a stick at. And that's just the gambling money. That's not the television contract money. So, anyway. Who's the glue? See? Uh, see, and, and there, there you go, guys. One of the great reasons why I'm glad I got Mike here. Um, Marty Schottenheimer passed away today at 77. He was the uh, Kansas City Chiefs, Cleveland Browns, uh, Chargers coach. And I tell you what, that's when football was truly football. The sad thing is, is the last years of his life, he had dementia. I hope that's not me. Because Lord knows, I keep losing a lot of stuff. Thank God I got Mike. That's what they have to help me find it. That's what they have to have. The apps. You get the little thing, you put it on there, and then you use the app to find it. I'll probably just forget that I got the app. I lose my keys all the time. I got one of those things. I can find my keys. Oh, one of the te- the uh, geotags? That's the new thing now. So, so you can find all this stuff. Okay. All they got right. The one, they got the ones for your wallet, too. Those are like credit cards. They don't need the wallet. That's what I call a tight fit. Bam. If you're interested in any, any Duracs, just go to my website, cowboyjoboo.com. And we'll make you one. What we should do, maybe what we should do is. When you order one, we'll do a video with your rack being made. So you can see it. And I sign your name on it. Or is that too much money? I need to live stream. The live stream as I assemble. There you go. Well, this is just a video. But I just want to give you guys some knowledge and let you know. I'm always thinking and always trying to set the record straight. While I'm doing my day job, because well, they told me, don't quit your day job. Because you're old, you're ugly, and you're stupid. Um, Do you have one extra one of those? But I still keep trying to do my hoodie rack. I keep every time I get my hoodie rack done, somebody ends up wanting one and we end up losing. So if you can give me a couple of extra ones, I'd appreciate it. Alright. Peace!